and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. Guys. Instead of me going over and predicting who the golden tickets reveal tonight could be, kind of go over their stats and what we could be expecting if they do reveal these guys. So I'm predicting tonight two different lineups. So, so we get three to start off. Remember that. Now, I'm going to predict the ideal lineup of what I think that we could potentially see. And then I'm going to do the one where I feel like EA is going to go this route. Okay, so to describe both lineups, it's pretty simple. So lineup one is the ideal lineup. The ideal lineup is something that isn't too great, but isn't bad. It's like some just a nice kickoff starter. It gives us something that the game needs. gives us something that we might want. Something that isn't in the game right now. And then the EA lineup is more along the lineup where they don't want to drop the bangers to start. They want to prolong this because they know if they drop the good ones first, we're not going to care about it later. No one wants to see a week seven, Cravon LeBlanc, Alvin Gentry, and Cam, Cam uh, uh, Cal, what's his name? Kelvin Benjamin. So we know they got to get some of the bad ones out first. Now, the reason that, and this is my business, from the business thinking side that I have right here, in my opinion, week one, it doesn't matter who the hell they drop. Everyone wants a, a field of golden tickets. Everyone wants, everyone wants a hit at them, right? So we all know, even if they drop Cravon LeBlanc, people are going to want him because it's week one. It's like the first Ultimate Legends. It, I, they could literally drop like a quarterback with no with, with missing both his hands. I can only throw with his foot and I'd probably still want him just because it's the first one. So the fact that if they drop the bad ones first, they'll sell and people will buy packs. And then if they drop Vic at the end, it's Vic, they'll buy packs. But they know if they drop like week one, Vic, Lamar, and all these other guys, People aren't going to care about these golden tickets later because they got their hype out with the best ones. Now things are just getting worse. You want to build your way up. But that's that's the that's the EA one. The ideal one is where they give us kind of what we need. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have anything else that you want to add to what predict your three. Down below, predict your three. I will name the entire list for you guys real quick so you can make your predictions. And by the way, just make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification, boys. But here we go. We got free safety and tight end Calvin. We got Zach Gentry, Lamar, Josh Allen, Brian Burns, Adrian Peterson, Michael Vick, RG3, Julio Jones, Zeke, Cravon LeBlanc, Kelvin Benjamin, Cam Newton. And now going on to the newer ones is going to be the final, I believe, five. And that's Trey Wayne, Sanu, Mays, and Mike Evans. Now, am I missing one? Possibly. I am. And J uh, Jaquiski Tart. There you go. That should be all 20. Make your predictions down below on who you guys think the first three will be and give me a reason why if you don't give me a reason why that's fine but i prefer a reason why now let's head over to the block and show you guys kind of what i'm expecting as my three and then i'll go over to the thing to show you guys some card art all right guys so personally the, i'm gonna start with my ea lineup not my deal with my ea one i think we start off with cravon leblanc is one of the first golden tickets now here's the thing i feel as like i said for the ea type lineup where they want to be like a business standpoint they want to get some of the this guy's not going to be bad he's probably gonna be one of the best cornerbacks in madden probably the best cornerback in madden but he's going to be more of a lesser known name, not a big splashy name, unless you're an Eagles fan or a diehard football, pro football folks and analysis. But people aren't going to know him as well, which is more than likely why he's going to be one of the first ones dropped because he's not going to have a high price tag slash a high uh, demand, depending. But week one, he will because he's going to be one of the first golden tickets and everyone's going to want a golden ticket. So this card, what the stats based on, by the way, shout out to the director, awesome card art, awesome channel awesome innovation go check out his channel drop a sub go support go show some support for him he's really he's really cool to let us use these whenever we need for a video and i really appreciate it if you guys if you're watching right now but here we go awesome car right here these are the stats he predicted 96 speed 98 acceleration 95 agility 94 jumping 96 play rec 96 man coverage 98 zone coverage 99 press so let's assume these are the stats here he would have maxed out coverage he'd have maxed out speed with sprinter and he'd have great agility, great jumping, and maxed out play rec. So he'd be an ultimate coverage type corner. It all depends on the back of the card, of course. But they won't give us that tonight anyways during the reveal. They'd only give us the back. So again, an awesome quarterback. Would I pick him up, in my opinion? Probably not. Because that looks very similar to like a night train lane that I could just get. But night train lane, he's kind of small. Night train lane's bigger. I think I'm going to have that speedy type lockdown corner. But the press is great, not going to lie. But it really just depends on what abilities he can get and what uh, his back of his card stats are if, super, if he can return picks really well. But overall, I think this is going to be one of the first ones to drop by EA because I think they got to drop one of the uh, the non-bangers first. And then let's get to the next one. I feel as though they might drop Adrian Peterson week one as well. We have no 99 overall running backs in Madden currently. No, Barry Sanders does not count. Base card is only 98. 
and I feel as though EA only has a 99 quarterback, so they probably want to break in a 99 running back as well. Adrian Peterson would make sense here. In my opinion, he hasn't gotten a card in quite a while since Christmas. Six foot one. Now, in my opinion, these stats might be slightly off in one thing, and that is the speed. I don't think EA will give AP that speed. Now, if this card's based on a throwback to the Vikings, that speed's perfect. But if it's based on his nowadays Redskins, where he's a little bit slower, I think they give him a 96 max. Which, again, a 96 max is fine, because with Sprinter and everything, you could probably get him right back up to 99 with him with that and John Madden. So that's fine. I think the Excel will be, the Excel will be pretty good. The agility, I think, again, might be a little high on this car because he's, he's, if it's based on his older self, that's what's weird about these golden tickets. If it's based on his older self, he doesn't have a lot of that stuff anymore. If it's based on, red, on the uh, Vikings one, he does. But this one, the cowering, that's perfect. Catching's perfect. I think elusiveness is fine. 99 elusiveness will end up getting 99 break tackle. And with the right abilities, he could get close. Or the right cams he will get close to 99 truck. This card's going to be a beast no matter how you look at it. As long as the speed's at minimum of 96. That's what it has to be. If it's 96, the card's going to be a beast. So I think we get AP, Cravon LeBlanc. Two great options of a cornerback and a halfback. Now, AP is someone that I will actually kind of want. Or at least have to try out. It all depends. Especially if he has a Vikings jersey on his card art. That'd be super, super cool. I don't think he will. But if they do end up going that route... I would greatly enjoy that. And now, getting on to the third overall card, guys. Now, this one's kind of tough. There's a lot to pick from from this category, but I think I've narrowed it down. Our third one is Josh Allen. So, there's like six quarterbacks on the list. I, In my opinion, they got to drop a quarterback almost every week this year. They just have to. Purely for the fact that if they don't, they're going to have to drop like a double quarterback week if they skip a week or two. So, I think this will be the quarterback, guys. Like I said, this is the EA lineup where they do not give us the best of everything. Because the best running back for people name-wise... Might end up being Zeke at this point in the year because there's been no good Zeke's this year. In my opinion, the best cornerbacks, there wasn't many. I think Kravon was the only one, actually. Oh, we had Mike Evans, too, as well. But that's going to be really good. And as far as quarterbacks, Josh Allen might be the least exciting of a Cam Newton, Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, uh, RG3, and whatever else combo. So I think this is still going to be a solid bet. Yeah, exactly. This Josh Allen's going to have 99 throw power, 97 throw deep, 96 throw mid, 91 throw short, 96 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run. 90 speed now here's the issue with josh allen that why i told you guys from the beginning i won't have him to put this card on my team he's kind of like a patrick mahomes and you take away some of his throwing and add some speed now the only way i get the josh allen is if his throw shorts better that's it because see if you increase if you take five speed away and put five speed on throw short you have patrick mahomes right there no doubt 85 speed with 96 96 97 with west coast all that gets up with john madden he ends up with like 99 throw deep literally identical replica of josh allen if you take i mean of uh, patrick mahomes but the issue is see now if you can get him if it's throw shorts even like a 94 he's better than mahomes this card's pretty much mahomes it's mahomes that throws a little bit worse but if you get the right if they make this card right and it comes out better he could be mahomes so remember that this could be a, re a replacement for mahomes as well as this could actually drive mahomes price down a little bit which could make mahomes more valuable to just go up and pick up but it really comes down to you guys. Again, Mahomes can be powered up at 99, which Josh Allen cannot because he cannot be powered up. So Mahomes can have a slight edge. But I do know this is identical to Patrick Mahomes. And I think they have a, I don't know if they have a similar uh, archetype, but I do know that if you wanted one or the other, it's going to be very similar. Now, the difference is Josh Allen will be a lot faster and maybe get some more running chems. So he could be very, very useful if they do end up boosting his throw short or something. And we don't know that. But these are the three cards that I think could potentially as the A lineup. Let me give you my ideal lineup. All right, guys. So my ideal lineup for tomorrow, they start with Michael Vick. They drop a banger. We haven't gotten one since Christmas. And as you guys know, sometimes EA does like to start things off with a bang. And like with Vick especially. And just get the money rolling in and get people hyped. Because one bad week of golden tickets could really throw people like a bad taste in their mouth. Like the one I gave you before. So we start with, we start with Vick. Michael Vick, 99 overall, 6 feet tall, 97 speed, 99 throw power, 98 throw deep, 95 throw mid, 93 throw short, 98 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, and 91 play action. Now this card overall ends up with 99 speed, 99 throw power, 99 throw uh, deep, close to 99 throw mid, and if the short's a little bit better, hopefully like a 96. That makes him Patrick Mahomes with 99 speed. Remember that. This is why I've been telling you guys this golden ticket Vick's going to be crazy. Because he's always, that's the thing with Vic all year. His first card has great deep, great throw power, great speed, bad accuracy. His second card has still great deep, great speed, decent accuracy. His last card usually has great accuracy with that speed. This card's going to be unreal. With Kem, he's going to be 99 all over the board. He's going to be crazy fast, human joystick. This card's going to be a glitch, quite literally. But that is the quarterback drop for our ideal lineup. Now, for the next card, 
for the ideal lineup. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna give they're not gonna give away everything week one, but I do think they give away a lot. Next so we end up with free safety Calvin Johnson. Now that's because we don't have many free safeties in the game. We don't have any 99 free safeties. Calvin hasn't gotten an upgrade as well since Christmas, just like Vic. I think it's the perfect time to throw him in there. This Calvin ends up with close to 99 speed with Sprinter and uh, John Madden, probably 98. He ends up with 99 play rec, 99 zone, 99 man, 99 hit power. Now, I do not think the hit power goes that high personally. I think the hit power ends up at around a 95, but I do believe his coverage will all be 99s with a 6 foot 5 frame. If his hit power does go to a 95, guys, or even any higher, his card will be an absolute monster at 6 foot 5. Probably be the ultimate hybrid safety in Madden. And at that point, I think he's probably worthwhile picking up. You put universal coverage on him and Forcer potentially, this card could be overpowered as hell. Now, that's Vic and Calvin Johnson for the first two. Now, the third one's a little bit tougher. So, we got a defensive. We got an offensive. Who could they potentially give us for the third one? Obviously, we're not getting another Calvin again because that would just be kind of dumb at that point that we'd get a second Calvin. I mean, it'd be just kind of weird. I don't know. Can you start a defensive and an offensive Calvin on the same team? I personally don't know that. Uh, let me know down below if you guys happen to know that. And for the final card, I'm going to do Zach Gentry, 99 overall tight end. Now, again, even in the ideal lineup where we still get two bangers, I think they got to drop in one of the other guys because, again, the last thing I want to do is like limit low, send out all the non- big name guys to the end and then we just have like two straight weeks of like Cam, uh, Kelvin Benjamin, Zach Gentry, Cravon LeBlanc, Trey Waynes, although I do love Trey Waynes. Again, guys who aren't big names. So they got to at least toss one in at least through weeks one through three, knock them out of the way and then make the rest all good from there on out. Now again, this card's still going to be good stat wise. He just might not be the best name wise. But this card with Sprinter and everything, guys, if this if these are the stats, this card's going to be the best hand in Madden by a long shot. And trust me, he will be on my team. Six foot eight. Ultimate red zone weapon. That's the tallest card I've used ever. Probably. Brian Finner in. I think he was six foot seven. 94 speed. That's crazy for a tight end. With Sprinter, he's gonna get to 96, which I'm Madden 97. 95 strength, crazy. He's gonna be breaking tackles left and right. 99 catching, 99 catching traffic, and potentially 97 spec catch. One just chemmed up, so he's gonna be the gonna be great at catching. Route running, if it's 90 guys, it's over. I, I've been telling you guys. My opinion, I think Gak Gentry will end up with high 80s route running and 92 speed or 91 speed. I really don't think they're that generous because right now, currently, this might be the glitchiest card in Madden, where he's gonna be able to run routes, catch everything, be six foot eight, and be one of the and be a burner with a 90 run block after putting chems on him. Director, awesome card, but I think you just created the greatest card in Madden. I don't know if they'll go this far personally. I think this might be too much only because he can do everything. This will be a glitch. I think probably they cut down on his run block maybe to like an 85. Maybe they cut his raw route running to like an 88, but then his catching remains all 99 across the board with a 92 speed. Now, will that add, add, add up? They'll probably put his awareness up to make it add up, but I feel like at six foot eight, they always handicap cards that have too much ability like that. But guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Step back and over to the mad screen to close it out. So that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And leave me down below your EA lineup, your ideal lineup. I, I, I named everyone in the beginning of the video. So go back and predict them down below. Give me a reason why. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.